the girls. They're all getting some. Topher, give me that hex bit on the table. Oh. Would you have half a day? Yeah. Well, that's a nice birthday gift. You having a good one? Yeah, it's been good. You hooking up with your friends tonight? Yeah. Yeah, I figured I wouldn't do dinner because you guys would be doing something together. I have no social life. Well, not no social life, but like no social life compared to people my age. We've refilled the fuel oil tank twice this month. It's not even December. Oil's up 25%. It's fucking annoying. We weren't doing too bad after we got the irrigator working. And it's like, ever since the well dried up over summer, it's just been one thing after another. You know how a bow constrictor kills someone, right? It doesn't just go around your neck and choke you out. It has this great ability to predict. It wraps around your body and starts counting your breaths. Right when you're about to inhale, it squeezes and takes away your space for air. Then, when you exhale, because you have to do that in order to inhale, it knows what comes next. And with perfect timing, right when you're about to breathe in, it squeezes and takes away more space. It's suffering right there. I just feel like when shit's going good and something's about to work out, Something just fucks up and we're screwed over again. We can never catch our breath. Shit going good? <clears throat> you get so complacent. That cattle loan we took out for the new pasture is still not paid off. Majority of our cows aren't young. Majority of our heifers aren't old enough. You're gonna have to get that checked out eventually. It's been bothering you for two years, at least. We got an inspection next month. And I gotta get that robot working right because if we get delisted, it is gonna be really fucked up from splitting firewood. Plate cooler was having some issues too, just with the gauge. But I can figure that out. I know the farm is in my future, but 
there's other things I want to be able to do. Not just what I have to do to keep this farm going. Before we get to the future, we've got to get through the next three months. You've been alive how many years? 21. And how many days have you seen me miss milking? None. Well, maybe one or two for medical reasons. Don't be stupid. No. None. You're right. Yeah. You know, every Christmas, trips, I was here. When have you ever seen me hanging with friends? I'm afraid to talk to people. Well, that's okay. That isn't a bad thing. You know, when you talk to me, I love to listen to what you have to say. You're not afraid to talk to me, are you? No, but that's because you're my mom. So then you can just talk to people you're not afraid to talk to. But if I only talk to my mom, then how will I have any friends? Hey. Just because I'm your mom doesn't mean I can't be your friend. I know you're my daughter, but I always tell people you're my best friend.
the fuck? Avery, why haven't you left yet? I have free period first today. I'm leaving in a few. You know that spot where my gun's supposed to be? Yeah. You have any idea why it's not there? No clue. Hmm. Truck's been all right? Yeah, I think it just fixed itself. I left your check for last month on the kitchen counter. Okay, thanks. Why you got the lights on during the day? I didn't turn them on. They were on when I came in this morning. Avery, you gotta speak up. I can't hear you from over here when you talk that low. I said they were on when I came in this morning. What the fuck? What's wrong with that boy? I'd give everything. College, friends, some great career, money. I'd give it all up if it just meant I could have her back. Feels weird saying that out loud though. It's almost like I'm realizing something I've always known. So I guess that means I'm gonna live my life chasing things that I'd give up in a second really makes it sound like nothing means anything. You mean a lot to me, though. Yeah. Yes, you do. How do I become a woman without the woman I want to become? Why were you in my room? I've heard my whole life that she's in a better place. Dad, stop. What are you doing? Now I wonder where do you go when despair kills you? Dad. The thought of Seriously, forfeiting stop. what she fought for makes me aware Why of how selfish I am. No feeling can be compared to hopelessness. I need you now. Is it worth waiting to find out? 
I made it very clear that we don't talk about her. Sorry there, Mama. Give me a little bit. What's going on? The mastitis is so flared up. Not only she's got nothing left. Sometimes when there's nothing left for you to take, it just takes a little more from you. Come on. Come on. Come on. How much you getting? Think we should just try her off? Well, you know, I think we'll send her off too. Matter of fact, if you want to let him know that next week works. I think we're at four or five now. Milker's clogged. I gotta fix it. Whoa, 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 what do you mean, what am I doing? Hey, hey, it's okay. I'm gonna get you out, okay? Hi, surprise. Hi, girl. Hey, it's okay, I'm gonna get you out. What did you just say? God, please. You name them? Take care. You know you don't do that. Please stop him. Yeah, but you haven't been too good at following family rules anyway. <laughs> Some name you Look at me. Look. 